Good evening. We begin tonight with Our Streets, Our Stories, the RTV6 campaign highlighting how communities are fighting back against crime. Tonight, we are focusing on abandoned homes, sites that become magnets for crime and threaten the safety of families living nearby. RTV6's Jack Reinhardt has been digging into this public safety issue, and he joins us live from our Monument Circle studio. The latest. Jack. Well, Titus, Todd, a suspected serial killer who hid the bodies of seven women in vacant homes, put the city of Gary and this problem in the national spotlight. And vacant properties here in Indianapolis are no less a magnet for crime. Vacant, boarded, abandoned, but not unnoticed. In the city's near north Mabledon Fall Creek neighborhood, half the homes sit empty. This home at 32nd and Ruckel has been boarded for more than a decade. I think the example up in Gary where that guy hid all those bodies, hell, if he never told them, those bodies would decay in there and nobody never knew it. So we may have that same thing here. That same thing happened here less than three weeks ago at a home in the 3300 block of North Wallace. Police who went to investigate a murder in the backyard found a second body inside the house. The victim had been dead more than a week. The property management company that owns the house, police say, also owns 570 other properties, half of them empty. And near the Fountain Square neighborhood, empty homes have been burned up by squatters trying to stay warm or by people who have intentionally set them on fire. It's happening everywhere and we're just really scared right now. Everybody's scared. Seniors are petrified. The Department of Code Enforcement has recently taken responsibility for vacant, abandoned, and unsafe structures from the Health Department. That way, Code Enforcement can have oversight of properties from new home construction to demolition. Um, a lot of the stuff I'm seeing is the foundation. There's a lot of foundation cracks. Our goal is to, you know, do what we can to work with those property owners. And with having the program housed in DCE now, we are actually looking forward to working with those property owners sooner in the process uh, in an effort to prevent unsafe structures moving forward. Estimates vary, but Indianapolis may have eight to 10,000 vacant, abandoned, and unsafe structures. And Tom Ogala, who delivers the mail in Maple and Fall Creek, sees the problems they bring to the neighborhood every day. Vacant houses, that's where they, they do their drugs, they sell their drugs, all that kind of stuff. And then uh, the homeless, they can come and uh, maybe at, in the, at night they can go and. Now, the Department of Code Enforcement is currently in the process of taking an inventory of these uh, abandoned uh, properties as well as assessing their condition, the idea being to find out who these owners are and to hold them accountable for the condition of their properties. Reporting live downtown, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6.